Hello. Okay, so here we are, day seven. I'm just gonna just just my I just my hand. Um, so I'm excited for this live. I am. I've mentioned this part of some of this that's gonna be mentioned on this live, like I mentioned in my previous lives. But I really wanted to actually dedicate an entire live on words and thoughts and how they do shape our reality. And so before we get started, I'll give you a little update. So the current place that I'm staying at, I'm able to stay here for one more night, which I'm really grateful for, uh, just because it feels really right being here. And then uh, as of tomorrow, I move to a different place uh, until I believe Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure. So using my markets environment, house hopping and sampling all the places while I wait for the invitation for my real place to come on. Uh, for some reason, I am not seeing who's hopping on live. I just saw a heart. So whoever's here, say hi and thank you for the like because <laughs> I just didn't see. It's not telling me who's on here. Anyways, we will just go with it. And so that is basically what's happening in terms of the housing situation. So keep you updated. And so the reason why I want to actually have an entire conversation about our words and our thoughts is because it time and time again, I am called out on it as well myself. And I'm becoming more and more mindful about what I say uh, and then what I think. I don't always go to like fully shift it, but like in every moment, you know, because then I would just be like healing and fixing and it would just be exhausting. But I am more mindful about it and I am more aware of what's happening. So the other day, I think it was yesterday, actually. Um, I saw some friends and they were just like, hey, Julie, how's it going? And I was like, oh, I'm homeless. And then after that, and so that just kind of came out of my mouth. And then after that, uh, one of the coaches I follow and I love dearly, Melanie Ann Lair, uh, she posted something on her story. It's of how two years ago, uh, she has this whole story about how she was in Hawaii. And that is literally where... You know, she had no properties, no luxury items. Like she was basically living the nomad life and she was in Hawaii with her now uh, fiance. And basically that was the moment they decided like, okay, we're going to make shit happen because, um, yeah, the lockdowns were happening shortly. And so that was like, you know, so she's kind of like two years ago. And then she's like, we didn't have this. And so I responded, I was like, well, today, Julie doesn't have a home. Julie doesn't have no home, no property zone, no luxury items, none of that. And when she responded to my message and she said, today, Julie is wild and free. And so switching the wording of I am homeless to I am wild and free is so much more powerful. It is so much more inspiring. It is it, it makes my situation not as heavy as it sometimes does feel, right? Um, because it does tend to, sorry, it does tend to feel a little bit ungrounded at times. And it is scary in that I currently don't have a home to live in and that I have yet to find my home. And so just shifting that mindset of being like, I am wild and free. And then also taking consideration that I am doing what my human design does, which is my market's environment that is a sampling. So right now I am sampling as to what I like. I know in this current place, I freaking love the bathtub. So that is going to be something that the next place has to have, this kind of bathtub, because this bathtub is like luxurious. And so it's these little shifts and these shifts that not only change our thoughts process, but it changes our energetic aura. It changes on how we show up to the world. It changes how the universe 
you know, like kind of gives us abundance. It opens up our receiving channels. So there's so much power to our words and thoughts and what we say, what we do. And sometimes things come out and they're so subconscious. They're so deeply ingrained between what you have learned through those around you, the society, like the stuff that society says, um, what you have been like the people that you are currently surrounded by. So an an example can be, um, let me try to think like, oh, like associating like a group of people to something. And so rich people are blank or this type of group of people are blank. And so Every time you say that or every time you make an assumption about a group of people, the universe will show you evidence that that is true because that is what you're claiming to be true. Now, this is back again, kind of going into our thoughts and saying and recognizing it and being like, well, why am I making that assumption? And what experiences have and evidence have I gone through that makes this evidence true for me? And that is okay, that is normal that you make this assumption about a group of people because your your experience and your current evidence of reality is makes that true. But is it really true? At the end of the day, is that thought, are those words really true? And is that something that you actually do want to or do desire to live by? And so it is noticing it and shifting it. And so the way I do it, like, for example, like if you're kind of saying, okay, rich people are on a pedestal. I can never be rich. Okay, how can you shift that to say, what did that person do and how can I learn from them? It's a simple shift and it's a, but you have to also believe it. You can't just say it, but really deep down inside, you're like, but I actually do, mm, but I do believe that is true. So you can start baby steps. And so this is where the words and the thoughts matter, because if you always believe that something is true to you, that is blocking the universe to giving you what you desire, then how are you ever going to get what you desire through your, and that is the power of your words and your thoughts. Uh, Another one uh, can be relationships are hard. That's another one. Relationships are hard. And so looking back, looking at your evidence, looking at your current relationship and seeing the evidence and being and noticing it and being like, okay, this is the evidence I have. But is this a reality you desire to live in? Do you actually desire to live in a reality? Do you actually desire for your relationships, whether it is love, friendships, to be hard, family relationships, coworkers, all relationships? Do you desire that to be hard? And if you do desire to be hard, then by all means, go for it. I'm not the one to tell you (laughs) what to do. But if it's like, no, I actually, do you actually would like it to be easy? How can you shift that? Because the evidence, the evidence, the current evidence, the evidence of the past is what's basically keeping those beliefs in place. It is what is confirming the truth, the, the, like the true, like the truth for you in your beliefs. And the reason why is that because our mind and our ego likes to keep us safe. Our mind and our ego is doesn't like the uncomfortable. It doesn't like the unknown. It doesn't like what it doesn't know. And so if you've always known that relationships are hard to even fathom the idea that a relationship can be easy, you've never experienced that to you that is unknown. And your mind's like, no, it's not possible. It's not possible because look at all the evidence. Look at my evidence. Look at this person's evidence. Look at that person's evidence. 
But evidence doesn't necessarily mean that that statement is true. That statement became true because you picked up that belief. You picked up that belief and you basically put yourself in a box and you are holding yourself back through this belief because the universe is like, hey, I actually want to give this to you. Like, I actually want your life to be easy. I want your life to be flow. I want your life to have like easy relationships that feel right, that vibe the way you vibe but you're like no no relationships are hard look at all the relationships i've been in they've all been difficult they've all been a headache you know it's like it's you're talking about like bringing two completely different people together and they're different personalities and you know you have to compromise you have to do this and you have to do that and that's why it makes it so hard because we're just like such different people Yeah, I'm making, yeah, 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 yeah. But do you desire that? Do you, like, do you truly, in your soul, desire for relationships to be hard? For your relationships to be hard? And so this is where you can shift this. This is where you can shift your words, your thoughts, to open up the door to receiving from the universe of being, like, here. Um... Which other one? What other example can I use? I feel like I had so many like 10 minutes ago and now they're all like out the window. Um, There is many, many examples. Uh, Oh, the classic I will be. I will do this. I will be doing that. Or one day I will be this. Anything, anytime. So I know we've come like the blah, 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 words i know that right like as a society we've dove more into vision setting like vision creating goal setting like making vision boards and you know like kind of like self-help books and healing and transformation which is amazing but then sometimes we still catch ourselves and we still say i will be doing that Or I am like, that's going to happen at some point. Not today. It's going to happen at some point. It's going to be in the future. Again, your thoughts and your words matter. So how to shift that? How to shift that? How to shift those words? So pay attention to when you are saying something like, are you actually honoring it yourself? Are you living like living in that moment in your actions, your words, your thoughts, as if you already have said thing or as if you are already there. Because if you keep reaching to be there, then you'll always be reaching and you won't be there. Or if, if, and sometimes it does happen that you do get there, even if you keep reaching, but then when you get there, you're not actually fully grateful for the fact that you got there because you're always reaching. It's always something's going to be better. I will be doing this. I will be doing that. One day this will happen. One day that will happen. But how about you claim it now? How about you claim it now as who you are in the present moment? Classic of how to switch it. Switch all your verbs to present. I am. I am. For the longest time, I used to say, I am growing my business. I stopped saying that. It's like, no, I'm not, like, I'll always be growing my business when you really think of it, when you really, like, get down to it. I'll always be growing my business. But I am my business. I am a life coach. I am doing it. I'm already doing it. There's, like, nothing more to do. There's, like, There's always going to be growth and evolution as I evolve, as I learn, as I experiment new things and have different experiences and things happen. So I am a life coach. My business has like, my business is happening. I'm not growing it. It will always be growing. So these words and thoughts shift shift your reality. You shift your reality. You shift like what is in front of you. You shift what things come in. And so it is 
important to pay attention. And so I got a little homework for you, actually. So I'm going to give you some homework. So your homework is for the next 24 hours, I want you to actually pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to every single thought you have and just observe. Don't do anything like don't try to switch it. Don't try to change it, but observe and notice what your thoughts say. Notice what narrative your mind is saying. So when there is a thought that may seem negative, notice that when there is a thought that it is something that is impossible to do, notice it. When it is a thought around money, notice that because money is a big one. When there is thoughts about scarcity or that there is not enough, notice that. Just pay attention. Pay attention to what you are saying and what you are thinking. And I just want you to like, almost like take this step back as if you're, observing your thoughts from an outside perspective that you're just like another person just observing your thoughts and see what happens see what happens and from there you'll see some patterns in your mind and so i'm gonna leave that with you today if this live resonated in any way please like comment share i appreciate it so much this is day seven of 365 day live um also just to let you know that this is like the work i do this is a work i guide you with this is a work i coach and so i do have spots open for my one to one coaching so if you're energetically feeling like julie this is a hell yes i would like i would love to work with you on this because is that something I do want to shift and I do desire to bring, you know, love into my life. I desire to bring abundance into my life, whatever it is. Send me a DM. I invite you to send me a DM because I would love to chat with you and I would love to guide you. I would love to do that. And so I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday and I will speak to you tomorrow for day eight. Bye.